It's October, and business is open for breast cancer awareness. Some oppose what they call pinkwashing, while others say campaigns have helped. Because right now, we're curing more people. Um, every year, the number of breast cancer uh, patients that are cured goes up. So that's, so unless we do research, we're not going to get cures. So that's, that's the pros. I guess the cons are that people, especially in the month of October, feel they're hearing, especially breast cancer patients, feel they're hearing too much about it. Some of the patients say, I can't get away from it. But I think for the majority of people, it's, it's a good thing. And putting research dollars into breast cancer has helped other cancers because breast cancer has been the model. Women have been so enthusiastic about participating in clinical trials. Good Morning America's Amy Robeck is a survivor who underwent a double mastectomy, a growing trend that is much debated. It doesn't guarantee that you're going to be a long-term survivor. It doesn't change the outcome of whether or not you live or die, but it makes your life a lot more manageable, especially someone very busy like me. What ended up happening is when I went for the double mastectomy, which was completely my choice, um, my doctor, I knew, wanted me to do the lumpectomy instead, but I pushed. When I woke up from surgery, Dr. Axelrod said to me, you're good. You knew, but I'm good too. She said, when I was about to close you up, I decided to take my finger and just check the wall, the chest wall of your breast. And sure enough, there was another tumor. She thought, no way is it malignant, had it tested, malignant. I had a second undetected malignant tumor in my breast. If I hadn't had the mastectomy for me, it would have not have been a good decision. It would not have been a good choice. And then when the pathology came back, I had precancerous cells in both of my breasts. So for me, it ended up being so much the right decision, um, I would have, that would have presented itself ultimately, and I would be walking around thinking I was cancer free, and I would have had a, a tumor in me. And um, I've definitely faced my share of criticism from um, people who don't believe that mastectomy is the right choice, and, and I want to be on the record as saying I've never recommended that anyone else get a double mastectomy, it was the right choice for me. What I tell women is, do what you think is right. Do what feels right to you. Do your homework, and then don't let anyone else tell you what you have to do or what you should do. It's your body. It's your cancer. It's your Every fight. breast cancer is different. I mean, and everyone's cancer is different. So it's not a one-size-fits-all, which is tough. And I love this concept And I, I at certain hospitals that I've visited over the last year and a half that have um, something that they call a patient navigator, a nurse navigator. And they're solely there to help patients navigate their decisions. And I think that is a brilliant business model because it's a, it's a, it's, there's such a need for that. And it's not how long you live, it's how you live. And so when I, yes, as a journalist now, when I listen to people, I, I know what it feels like to be afraid of dying and to feel like death is imminent and to, and to feel just scared beyond words. And that helps me do my job.